हेलो नमस्ते ग्रुप नंबर वन यूनिवर्स इज प्रिपेरिंग यू फॉर दिस लाइफ इवेंट दैट इज द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे सो लेट सी व्हाट इज इट एंड यू हैव गॉट इन द कार्ड ऑफ योग शक्ति लुक एट आर टंग वॉट वी स्पीक अबाउट आर सेल्फ इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो मे बी द वे यू स्पीक टू योर सेल्फ एट दिस टाइम यू बीन प्रिपेयर टू बी मोर काइंड टू योर सेल्फ टू नॉट बी सो हार्श ऑन योर सेल्फ दैट्स वन थिंग आई एम सींग सो आई फील लाइक योर स्पीच हाउ यू टॉक टू योर सेल्फ हाउ यू टॉक टू अदर पीपल आर यू कंप्लेनिंग ऑल द टाइम आर आर यू ट्राइंग टू हार्ड हाउ यू हाउ यू टॉक टू अदर पीपल अबाउट योर सेल्फ इट्स ऑल चेंजिंग यू आर बिकमिंग मोर जेंटल विथ योर सेल्फ इवन दो शी इज़ सो फ्योर इज आई फील लाइक यू बीन प्रिपेयर टू बी मोर जेंटल विथ योर सेल्फ यूनिवर्स इज प्रिपेयरिंग यू फॉर दिस यू नो वैन आई वॉज शफलिंग योर कार्ड आई वॉज शोन एन इमेज ऑफ अ ट्रैक्टर या इट फील्स लाइक द यूज इन द फील्ड्स that's the image i was being shown and then i i was shown an image with lot of flowers lot of sunflowers sunflowers yes mm. so so again you know i feel like it's the process of farming first we have to lay the seeds and then we have to wait and then only the harvest will happen we cannot harvest things at the wrong time yeah <laughs> that's what i'm getting here so sometimes we will have to wait uh, so that things happen to us at the correct time because that's that's very important here that's something i feel like uh, this uh, kalima version of yoga shakti wants you to know uh, sometimes if things happen yeah if we are forcing and making things happen if it happens in the wrong time you're not going to get the results that you desire it is not going to make you happy so this is a time of patience i feel like you've been prepared to be more patient to be more gentle with yourself because uh we grew up in a society where we have been told that we have to criticize ourselves more we have to be strong by criticizing we become strong but in reality the opposite happened the more we criticize ourselves the more we we'll, more we are fearful but the less we criticize ourselves the less we doubt ourselves the less uh, yeah that the less we are judgmental about ourselves and the more we are treating ourselves like a precious object the best version of us comes out yeah and i see that that is what you have been prepared for there is a stage for everything again i am getting this uh, uh, farming like there is a stage uh, certain seasons are required it's like a cycle of life we cannot force things to happen at a particular time for example there are lot, four seasons right spring summer um what if we don't have summer <laughs> what if we do yeah it, it feels like um if you don't have the sun like that's the energy it's going to be bad but there are countries and places where there will be no sun for some time but then it changes for whole year if there is no sun how we will survive same thing cannot things have to change like that only our life is all of cycles and i feel like you are being prepared to prepare right to, now to understand that yes if there is a bad phase of your life it's not even a bad phase i feel like sometimes in the those dark phases we learn so much about ourselves and sometimes that is also required so we can let go of certain things that doesn't make us happy right yeah in those dark times is the times when we find ourselves more and then after the darkness comes the light as well right and we become more strong but at this time as you're going through this transition with this number 13 it feels like a transition period is happening for you guys you've been prepared for that transition change right now you're you're at you're going to end a cycle and a new beginning is happening maybe you're seeing 11 11 because when i started your reading i saw 11 11 as well maybe i i feel for some of you oh, it's crazy 11 11 is crazy for you 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 might have been seeing it for like uh, days now because there is a new beginning a new start for you guys you've been prepared for it and in this new beginning there are some habits there are some people there are some things that you cannot take to this new beginning so you have to work through that in this cycle so sometimes it might feel a little tough 
but it is for your own good because this new chapter of your life that you're entering these habits these people can cannot come so yeah <laughs> so that's that transition period you've been prepared for this new beginning i feel like that here so don't be hard on yourself speak to yourself again with this tongue you know tongue is very like the way we speak about ourselves, the way we speak to uh, other people about ourselves. Sometimes we degrade ourselves, sometimes we make fun of ourselves. But maybe we are making it as a joke or maybe we are very sarcastic all the time. Maybe it's better to keep your speech pure. That is something you have to learn, I feel like that, because our words are powerful. Uh, I have always talk, talked about Florence Covelshin, Your Word is Your Want book. So if you are interested, read about it. Read that book. It will give you more insight. But whatever I feel like you're being prepared for a new beginning here. And always remember, even if you want something, even if it's a dream, if it happens at the wrong time, it's not going to work out. So be patient at this time. Because the timing will be right and you will get your dream as well. So so whatever you're trying to harvest, it is going to happen. So yeah, that's were the first messages. Let's see more. Oh yeah, we have the charms. So for the charms I have to add, let's see group number one. <clears throat> Interestingly, we have the seahorse and the heart. For some of you, this is a new family life new beginning with family and you yes maybe a new partnership maybe a new collaboration is entering maybe a new job this is your new beginning but at the same time the reason why this transition is not happening maybe you have been waiting for a new job maybe you have been wanting a new relationship maybe you have you have been wanting some new things in your life right and right now you're in this transition period because you have to learn something right it's not, learning is like important it's not suffering, it's not pain. Sometimes uh, we, we will feel it because we are humans and we have emotions, but sometimes it's just a necessary part of your life. Uh, I feel like that, that's very important, everyone has. Uh, but how we deal with it is very important. And, and I know sometimes this can be very rough also. Um, uh, yeah, but we don't have to make it rough. Sometimes it's rough though, uh, but yeah. Uh, so what I was saying is like there is this new, phase of your life that is beginning for you that is you're being prepared for look again the seahorse and the seahorse it's like they take the responsibility of the female and make it theirs and by the end i feel like they die also so sometimes you also have in this in this period you have taken the responsibilities of other people your loved ones you have taken the world weight of the world yeah world you have taken the weight of the world what they think about me am i good enough so if this person uh, is uh, do we acting like this maybe it's my problem so i have to change or maybe the responsibility that was not even yours you have taken it right and when we do that what happens is it's too much or on plate it feels like a person who has taken a lot of food and they cannot chew it because it's too much and by the end they are like their stomach is full, they are having stomach ache, it's not nice. That's your situation, right? And here you cannot go to this new beginning carrying all that. That's why this new beginning is, 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 uh, is on hold for you guys. Because you cannot take all those responsibilities that you had done in your past. You have to change that. And you're doing it, you're releasing it, you're ending that version of you. And this new version of you is arising here. That is not responsible for other people's action. Maybe you have find find that, you know, you've seen that you have been responsible for other people's emotions. You're responsible for other people's anger. If someone is angry at us, we are responsible for their anger because we made them angry. But are is it or are they responsible for their angriness? Sometimes we take the weight of the world and and you cannot go carrying this weight to this new beginning. And for that, you have to be in this transition. You're in this transition period where in this new beginning, you cannot carry the world, so you have to let go of it. And for everyone, it, it, it is going to take their time. Wherever you're in, journey, you're in your own journey, it will take your, your time. So as you let go of that weight, you will, make, you will move to this new beginning where you will know, yes, this is my responsibility, I'm going to do it. The rest is theirs. That's not mine. I cannot carry that. So you are going to 
go into this new beginning where the load is going to be so low uh, the load from the past is not there because you have released it and as in the present you are not taking the load the weight of the world rather you are carrying what what is your what makes you happy how much you can carry for example a person who is backpacking is carrying a big backpack he will not be able to hike properly he will get so tired but if a person is carrying light he's, he doesn't have anything good shoes he will be able to hike easily isn't it like that in our journey also when we carry too much that's when the journey gets tough and now you are in this transition period where you are where you are understanding yeah i don't need to take that load of that person i don't need to take this responsibility it's not even mine why i'm carrying it why i have to think what others think of me it's not mine so lot of the weight of the world lot weight of the people the responsibilities that doesn't is not even yours you are letting go of that and you are in this process and as as it as you understand that you are going to go into this new phase of your life where things will be very light because you are not carrying the load and your journey will be more yeah more more good it doesn't mean that there will be not uh, no ups and downs but you will be able to tackle every challenge uh in a very healthy manner because you are not carrying that weight yeah so let's see group number 1 Yep, look, we have Lord Shiva transcendence. Like the snake shedding the skin, when the snake sheds the skin, it's going to be uncomfortable. So you are going to face a lot of uncomfortable emotions. That's for sure. It's hard. It's tough. I, for me also, you know, if I look at my June month was also like that. It was really uncomfortable with all the emotions. I got sick also. It was really heavy, and I know that it can get heavy, but. although in those heavy moments we realize so much we understand so much that we didn't understand before so much depth yeah in, we get that deep knowingness of ourselves of of about uh, of about our world around us so many things that is not even true that we carry so many lies that have been told to us that we carry and we don't have to carry we, we feel like we have to carry it's all going to be removed and you are going to level up and you're going to have this new beginning that's what it is happening but now right now you're in this transition period of little bit uncomfortable because whenever the snake sheds the skin it's really uncomfortable sometimes it's really gets rough as well but then the new skins <laughs> come right so look the divine director you've been guided trust your intuition at this time take small steps when you feel like you need to take a break take a break okay don't be hard on yourself be more gentle with yourself i have an affirmation for you guys treating myself like a precious object will make me strong wearing blue also might be good and again your third eye chakra look we have the third eye chakra we have the third eye chakra you're seeing you in you in this transition period things are going to get uncomfortable because you're seeing the truth the truth that cannot be seen by the naked eye is seen by the third eye and it's going to be damn damn uncomfortable but that's what is going to let, that's what will allow us to let go of the things that we believed was true was not even true that we believed it was our responsibility when it was not even ours isn't it yeah so rise up honor your inner force steps are been given dance with the universe universe is at yeah, yeah it's like delivering all that notes the messages listen to it take one step one step you will be safe and protected so let's see group number 1 what is the message we have yes you've been prepared for this new beginning where you're taking care of yourself where you're filling your cup you know how to fill your cup you know how to keep your cup full and you're giving only the overflow that's what you're going to learn and that will be the start of your new beginning so you will not get drained you can give that love light to other people and as well as you will have that for yourself you will not get drained and that's what i am sensing here okay so it can be like new love new relationship a new hobby that you want to pursue you know you want to move forward with it 
that is also there yep so let's see what else <laughs> we have nine of cups for some of you this is an awesome relationship where where you're not carrying the load of your partner where things are balanced yes in relationship things cannot be equal but it should be fair but many times in relationship things are not fair things are not e equal it's not even fair but you have maybe if you're single <laughs> you are going to you've been prepared for an awesome relationship a relationship that you thought that is exist only in your dreams yeah or exist only in korean dramas or something like that for some of you that is it okay that's the feeling i'm getting here so as you are yeah it feels like you're spiritually growing as a person you're understanding you are going to be in this high vibe as you release all those limitations right and it's tough it's rough but after that the light the new relationship i'm not saying you know in relationship there will be challenges no relationship is perfect but you will be happy you will be with this person you will be like yes i i want to live my life with this person forever right uh, so yes if you're single definitely this is a relationship kind like you have imagined you have certain uh, your mindset regarding a relationship like the green i i really feel like you want that kind of a person who takes care of you who respects you values you and yes who cherishes you and i feel like if it's a relationship that's what is coming again we have the sea horse and two hearts the where these people are taking each other's responsibilities they're sharing they're caring no one is carrying the load of other people because they're carrying the load in equal so no one is getting don't drained and both of the parties are happy like that's what it feels like again if this is a really a job or a career whatever it is right it's a dream of yours where things are balanced and you're feeling happy you're feeling satisfied uh, where you're happy in your job where you're happy in your relationship that's what i'm getting so let's see we have page of coins here you've been destined look we have six of wands as well success here so something that you have been working on right now it's going to be very successful right now things have been a little rough for you guys but this this with this red thread it's destined for you the abundance the fertility this relationship this job it's destined for you okay this is yours okay so let's see what else here group number 1 okay the clinging the clinging we have one more card uh fire illumination inspiration devotion and all consuming passion regeneration spirituality virtue enlightenment enlightenment of course enlightenment enlightenment is happening because you are releasing a lot of stuff that doesn't serve you right yep so and we have the obstacles unexpected obstructions frustration difficulties feeling of hopelessness struggle discouragement in this period you're going to get that enlightenment enlightenment right this is the tough period i i did mention the darkness when we are facing obstacles that's when we understand so much about ourselves and that's what this clinging is right we understanding who we are the deep depth of ourselves so <laughs> that's what is happening so de de yeah have a spiritual practice meditate every day have a routine where you are going out in nature and whatever work you want to move forward with you know show up every day that's one thing i'm seeing here as you show up as you try to connect with your own self things are going to get more clearer and the obstacles are going to fade away here yep <clears throat> start believing and as you start believing you will start seeing and universe is uh, making you understand that so let's see 
sensitivity. Oh, you're very sensitive right now. Uh, so taking care of yourself, having a self-care practice is very important. And also see who you are sensitive with, what energies are very heavy on you, what is draining you, what is taking away, you know, what, what kind of people or energies are, uh, you know, making you feel drained. I feel like it's time to release all that and you will be doing that. So use your sensitivity to your advantage. So that is what it is here. Uh, so... Uh, I, I will recommend you to, you know, uh, do saging, Palo Santo, cleansing your space every day, cleansing your home will be a good thing. Whenever you're going out, you know, maybe visualize yourself uh, uh, through a golden light so you don't carry other people's energy because you're very sensitive as well. And right now things are being a little tough, your energies, as I mentioned, you're going through this kind of period where you're understanding so much. Things have been like a lot of, you're very sensitive at this time. So take care of your well-being, okay? So let's see the final message for group number one. <clears throat> yeah, for some of you, this is sharing your gifts. Again, this is like two partners sharing uh, their uh, uh, their fears, uh, their hopes, their happiness, their sorrows together and having a good life. That is it. For some of you, this is your talents that you share and the world will be so happy to see your talent. Right? Uh, your talent. Yeah, so Ace of Cups and this Nine of Cups. If you're doing something, if you're already sharing your talents or uh, if you're an artist, right and you have been seeing yourself uh, through that lot of obstacles things are going to shift here right as you are letting go of this skin you are going to see yourself in a different way and as you see yourself in a different way your light will be much stronger and as you share that light you will get that kind of response that you want that kind of success that you want okay so companionship is also there. This can be friends, this can be your soul tribe, this can be a relationship. The right people, but the right people cannot come at the wrong time. You have to be ready and you've been prepared for that. So that's all I have for group number one. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. So group number two, universe is preparing you for this life event. So let's see what is the message for you guys. You have chosen the Kharga with number nine. It's like the sickle, you know, and it's like it's used for harvesting. Uh, so I feel like as you let go of all the things that doesn't doesn't work out for you, you are going in a stage where you're releasing a lot of stuff from the past. And, and, and I feel like you're really really it feels like a detox energy here and you're at the end of this detox so all the toxins have been released and now your body is very healthy that's the energy so whatever limited beliefs were there whatever uh, whatever yeah it feels like you have been healing and you have been letting go of certain things in your life that was conditioned to you at your childhood so it feels like a uh, you were uh, yeah you were you were healing your inner wounds, inner child wounds, your past wounds, and now you're letting go of all those things and uh, you're rising. Now, what you've been prepared to is that you're going to be the star that you always wanted to be. You're going to be on the top. Maybe you are someone who have seen that no matter how hard you work, you never rise to the top. You never get to the top of things, but you have seen people around you getting to the top, winning things. And you might not have uh, because maybe there was certain thing conditioned, right? When you were a young child and you thought that you're not meant to win or you had to, you th thought that a lot of hard work is required for you to win. And I feel like you have been releasing all those things at this time. And now you, you are shifting your lack mindset to this prosperity mindset as you're healing your inner child you're working with your inner child even if you know if you realize or you're not realize many people will be realizing many people will not but i feel like many of you know that uh, uh that, yes there are certain childhood wounds that have been affecting you uh, in your uh, in your present reality right so i feel like um you're healing that and now you are getting into a stage where you are 
dreaming big i see you dreaming big this group having plans having goals and and sometimes things doesn't work out the way you want but that's okay you are okay right i feel like you're someone who is like yes this thing didn't work out but i'm going to be right i'm going to show up you're very determined you're very consistent and that's such an awesome thing and sometimes you might have also thought like no matter how consistent i am why i don't get to the top right uh, there has been that and i feel like there was something some sort of conditioning in your childhood that that stopped you from getting to the top and finally you are at the last stage where you're releasing it as you release it you're going to have this major harvest here that's what you have been prepared for a major major harvest that will make you so happy and so let's see more information um through the charms and the cards here group number 2 Okay, you have. <clears throat> okay, like again, life is all about like what we, how we feel uh, that comes around, right? So you had this kind of a uh, conditioning that was you were getting back, uh, no matter how hard you worked. But now finally, that is, you have released that, and you are in. You are, you have changed your mindset. I really feel like you have been working on your mindset. You're getting into this prosperity mi mindset. But finally, finally, you're rising above. That's something I see here. Yes. Look, interestingly, we have the corn and the dinosaur. You didn't give up on your plans. You didn't give up on your goals. You stayed true to your path, no matter how hard hard it was. And yes, now it's time. now it's time for your growth now it's time for your abundance now it's time for your harvest you deserve it and it's going to stick to you this harvest now you cannot lose it this time right it's the, it's stick to your tail right okay so yeah your harvest again these two cards talk about these two charms talk about the abundance the harvest there's so many again both the grapes have a lot of seeds and the corn has a lot of seeds and the pumpkin also has a lot of seeds right these three talk about the major harvest that is that is coming here <laughs> yep yeah it's like it's like uh, look again this small child like the inner child energy the small leg it feels like you have healed something uh, from your childhood and now the power yes you go you are already seeing what you didn't see before as you see it now you release it right again you're working on your individuality you're growing as a person you're uh, you are you're cutting cords from the past habits that were not good for you you're getting out of your comfort zone you're doing things for yourself uh, yep i see that and the obstacles that were before it's not going to be there again okay Uh, so yes this harvest harvest is what is you have been prepared for so don't let this temptations come again don't let this thoughts come again right whenever you're feeling that uh, take some time out reflect on it and release it that's very important as well okay because you are going you are at the last stage and yes you are getting there to your harvest but don't let these thoughts those kinds of thinking patterns you know whenever you are seeing that you're doing it please reflect on it that's very important okay so let's see what else here for group number 2 we have common canyon care and compassion wow yes uh, choose to be love do what is right for everyone involved offer a helping hand you know when we are in high vibe we can see what other people are doing even if they are not so nice to us we can see why they are not so nice to us we can we can we, we because we are not taking their rude behavior personally so it doesn't affect us you are getting at that stage where you see yeah this this is why this person is doing it because they are they are going through a lot of things you can see it because kanin she is so merciful she is so merciful <laughs> and i feel like now you are at a stage where you're giving that care and compassion to yourself compassion to yourself you're forgiving yourself for your own mistakes that you made and you're saying that saying your to yourself like it's okay you don't have to be perfect you're getting at that stage right so you can see that in other people you can see that in other people and that's such such a beautiful thing it's like you are 
your energy is so high vibe you're full of love you're full of light and once we are in this energy we are not taking other people's uh, problems and making it our we know that they're going through a problem we might give them some sort of guidance and that's it we release them we love them but we cannot take their baggage and i feel like you are you are someone at a stage where you can show that kindness you can support them but you are the light you cannot carry their pain you cannot take their pain you cut that you cut that energy because now you deeply care about yourself because you know that's important right oh wow i have to show you this we have again i was talking about uh, all the obstacles being lifted where you felt stuck before where you yeah there was a part of part of you always thought like why can't can't rise to the top and that is that yeah for you guys it's ending and again the lotus may be uh, something that resonates with you and again lotus blossoms in the muddy environment yeah blossom blossoms in muddy environment so what people think about you it's not matter to you anymore you are at this stage where you understand what you think about yourself is the most important thing right uh yeah and and i see you blossoming like the lotus and we have infinite abundance and um, we had the elephant as well so what's best for other people and you you're doing going to do that as you nurture yourself you're going to nurture other people as well but sometimes what happens is in life we nurture other people but we don't don't nurture uh, nurture other, other sorry we don't nurture ourselves and that's when we get a little envious little because we are not giving that love and care to ourselves but that's ended i feel like you're already giving that love you're nurturing yourself and you can nurture other people so yes you're not you're not taking other people's yeah their problems you're not making it yours you're not taking things personally i feel like that you're understanding where they're coming from so the life is going to be a lot easier because of this approach i see that so yeah and yes for that you have been prepared you have been working on it it's not easy to come to the stage and yes right so let's see what else here so keep loving yourself like this keep taking care of yourself like this you're doing amazing and and when you do that you become more kind and generous to other people that's an amazing thing uh when you give yourself more you can give to other people more isn't it uh so let's see so again i feel like you're getting into this prosperity mindset you're cutting that lack you're getting into this prosperity mindset so let's see so um, i just heard like wear your crown and be confident and yes be be very proud of yourself it feels like you made it you will feel like yes i made it i made it by myself i uh yeah yes divine was always there to support you but yes you you did it by yourself when you raised on to the top so let, let's see um what else here tyonian i'm just reminded of green tara ma as well you're very safe and you're very protected okay yes page of wands uh, she's like running with the good news it feels like uh, someone is like they got a news and they're running and telling sharing it with other people because so awesome news so yes yeah, a good news you've been prepared for a good news right again your harvest and <laughs> there is like a lot of bananas as well so yes your har- harvest season is near that is the good news and you will be celebrating it finally all your hard work is paying off right yes the devil look you made uh the devil your best friend <laughs> so now it's not going to trap you anymore right now you can see what is your devil, devil. yeah it it feels like your own behaviors or other people like you yeah so they you it feels like now you're at a stage of your life you're becoming yeah you've been prepared for that no one can manipulate you no one can keep you trapped not even yourself i feel like you can you know sometimes we get trapped by our own thoughts i feel like you will be so aware of that that you can you cannot be trapped by your own emo- thoughts as well you will be very clear like yes this is the thing this emotion is not right this feeling is not right i'm just overthinking i got to release it and yes i don't have to suppress it i'll just make it my best friend and release it <laughs> like that's the that's the energy here you have your you have become friends with your beast with your shadow and and so you understand all the depth of you who you are why this 
thing is not happening. So you can be so aware, right? Yeah, this is the reason why I'm not getting to the top. And as you fr become friends with that pain, you heal that pain. And as you heal it, you rise to the top. So I feel like you have been working on a lot of your habits. Toxic habits, maybe you had certain topic, toxic habits. Or maybe people, you are letting go of certain people who are toxic. You are understanding their point of view so you can release them. You can forgive them. You are not carrying any resentments. You are healing all those toxic things that happened to you. You are that at the end. And now as you heal it, like again the toxic things that happened to you at, when you were young as well. Or if there were real people who were very devil, you are actually letting go of them. You are not harboring any resentments anymore. You're just letting go of it. And now you're, you're friends with your shadow. You know your shadow so well. And as you become it, you know, yes, this is my shadow. I need to release it. This is my conditioning. Like this is the limited belief I had. I got to release it. And as you do it, you rise, rise above. Uh, and, and, and if you're some, someone who is single, I feel like in, uh, if you will be getting into a relationship, you will be able to detect those red flag people from far away, <laughs> you have that in you. You've been prepared to see the red flags. You can, you, you will, you, you're, you're being prepared to have very good discernment. You can actually sense the energy. You know, people can lie, but their energy cannot. And you're someone who is not going to listen to the words. You're going to feel their energy, and always trust it because it's always right. Okay, so let's see what else here. What is the message for group number two? Yes, great power. Great power. It feels like, again, great power is someone who has, who has that self-control, who understands their own shadow, who understand uh, their own their own shortcomings and yeah they understand it very well and they know what they what they need to overcome it they balance so they have very good good mental health great clarity they're very aware and this all leads to great power a power that can be utilized for your own good as well as the good for good of other people yeah so maybe the things that you will be saying to other people might feel a little toxic to other people at first but then when they get into the depths of themselves they will see that like, the way you, you the, the words that you shared were so important for them and yes yeah, sometimes you're going to tickle a lot of people uh you're like a leader guys you're you have been prepared to be a leader <laughs> you're a master i really feel like that you you have learned so much you have gained so much wisdom and yes, in this, this like you have been getting the, those wisdom now, now you will be receiving the recognition for that. I see strength of character, authority, dignity, influence, self confidence, leadership, peak condition, potency. Yes, you are rising at the top. You have been recognized, you have been respected for your work here. You're going to get a following as well. Your following will increase if you're already. If you already have, maybe if you are creative, more people will be uh, loving your work. Yeah. Oh, it, uh, I, I, you know that card came from group number one. Of course, we you are very sensitive people. <laughs> I feel like that. Uh, and yes, always, always uh, you can sense that energy. So always trust. Uh, but uh, but it came from group number one and fell very fast. So I feel like I need to shuffle again. So if it comes again, then that's your message. So I saw success as well. So yeah, I was talking about success, harvest, finally getting to the top. Okay, let's see. Please card on the table, divine. Thank you. Again, kindness. Yes, kindness. You're sharing that kindness, generosity. As you share, you're going to get it more. Okay, so group number two. Okay, we have a card. Wow, true love. Oh, and interestingly, true love fell on the top of the universe. This is the, sorry. Top of the lower card. Sorry, I said <laughs> top of the universe. And anyway, interestingly, true love can can mean you loving yourself truly, because you are accepting your shadow self. You've been prepared for that, so you can express your authentic truth here. When we don't love ourselves that deeply, first we have to love ourselves so we can really love other people. If we don't love ourselves, how are we going to love other people? But we have we have been told like uh, even if we lo don't love ourselves, we can love other people. I feel like that's not true. 
how can how can we give that love if we don't know, know that right if we don't know the depth of ourselves our, how yeah if we can cannot love ourselves how are we going to love other people many people will not understand that right but for this group i feel like you understand it yeah sometimes we have to love all those all those aspects of ourselves or the past what mistakes we did it, yeah we we don't have to carry that guilt it was just learning right and as you do that you can you can give that love to other people by not attaching yourself to them right so it feels like you're going to be very very connected to the universe you're going to get the love of the universe and yes the true love is like you loving yourself you expressing yourself you are expressing your own authenticity and people will be loving you for that as well so let's see the final message here for some of you of course relationship is there but it's more about you guys here you rising on the top you you making a name for yourself right you being known for you your work <laughs> um so let's see the final message Group number two <clears throat> we have the adventure oh wow like a new life a new adventure things are going to get more fun i feel like that you will be traveling a lot look end of a cycle i did mention with the khadgas and things are ending for you guys there has been a lot of high emotions like uh, right yes it, it was for a reason for you guys maybe there has been storm stormy stormy kind of emotions that you have been facing like uh, lately it was because uh, sometimes we have to face those uh, those emotions in order to understand ourselves isn't it and i feel like as this as the cycle is ending you're getting to the top with new adventures new life again there is overflow of abundance things will be flowing you will be uh, you will be seeing a lot of new places a lot of good things are on the way for you guys right and with this adventures um, this is going to be a surprise new things new people new situations uh, yeah so an amazing light uh, sorry an amazing life awaits you yeah okay so that's all i have for group number two hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye group number three if you have been drawn to the number seven dakshina let's see what is the message universe is preparing you for this life event I feel like universe is preparing you for a major blessing that is going to arrive. So the Dakshina Kali, you know, the form of Dakshina Kali um, uh, is helping you to conquer fear at this time. So you can get to that blessing that you have been praying for. So I feel like a blessing is coming your way that you have been praying for so you know in my tradition yeah where i am from we have a lot of temples and my mom always like if for example if someone is sick right uh, uh she prays like i will come to your temple and offer this thing so please let her have health and after she's regained, like if she's praying for me or if I'm regained, like if I'm healthy again, she will go and offer that. So it feels like that. You might have prayed for something. Yes, you might have prayed for something. Maybe for some of you, there is a fear that you wanted to conquer and you felt like you may, might have prayed, like I will offer you this. Or maybe you didn't uh, plan to offer, you didn't pray like that, but you prayed for something. And... And you're getting that blessing so if you have prayed something like that and you're like i will offer this you will be getting this blessing and please go and offer that to her yeah if you have or uh, if you have prayed something uh for like uh, to you if you have prayed to call kali goddess that i will offer coconut coconuts or anything like that or uh, go and do that mm. yeah in my culture there is like a lot of uh, like lot of prayers <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, so, so, yeah that sometimes we offer coco coconut sometimes it's like a ghee lamp there is many many okay many i don't even know there are so many so many temples um where i from where i'm from maybe many of you in this group 
know that but if you are not familiar like i feel like that's what you prayed for something you prayed to conquer that fear or maybe you prayed uh, that divine take me out of this situation you are going to get out of it you're getting that blessing here you will be out of that fearful situation i feel like a resolution is coming your way that's what i'm getting here so be ready to offer if you have prayed for something be ready to offer to her because she is going to grant you that blessing you've been prepared for that blessing okay something that you've been praying for let's see more we will get more information with the charms and the cards so let's see okay wow your heart is safe your heart is protected your loved ones are protected maybe if you prayed for your loved one or your child they are all protected they are all safe you are all safe your heart is safe you will be able to overcome this heartbreak you will overcome you will not feel this uh, this heavy you're going to conquer that you're conquer you're going to conquer that fear you're going to conquer that heartbreak you're going to conquer that tough situation and there is more light energy is coming into your light life i have been messing with words today i don't know more um, more peace is entering your life that's what you've been prepared so you're safe you're protected and your prayers have been definitely heard okay <clears throat> so group number 3 group number 3 what is the message oh i was noticing like the black color and the black candle maybe some of you might have recently lit a black candle for protect protection maybe for some of you are worried that you are someone is giving you evil life that is the case you are protected yes again a situation uh, where you were not able to forgive maybe you asked ma please forgive me or please for, uh, please let me forgive this person so i can move forward yeah maybe you know sometimes we carry that kind of resentment and pain so we are not able to forgive someone and you're like i i got to forgive this person so i can move forward maybe you have been thinking about it because maybe their emotions like what they have done to you it always comes and you you they gets bad and you know that it's somehow somewhere somewhere affecting you though those past emotions those past feelings and you might have been praying like let me get rid of all those emotions i don't want this and she is helping you with that so what is happening is like you forgiving them you're releasing those resentment what after you release it you feel good you feel like you can uh, trust your heart now you feel good in your heart you're not feeling broken hearted you're not feeling that pain because when we forgive other person we not only set them free we set ourselves free as well so your emotions like yeah sometimes we are so emotionally uh yeah maybe we are apart from that person or situation but we are thinking about it every day and it keeps in giving us so much pain and we feel like we are not feeling that stability inside of us because of it and it's bringing a lot of fear in us right we are worried we are always fearful thinking about that situation and you might have prayed like let me get it get through it please i don't want to think about it let me release it maybe let me forgive it forgive that yes i feel like you will be able to let go of that situation and it doesn't mean that uh yeah it, it's like sometimes we have to have to because otherwise it consumes us in a negative way and you you might have been uh seeing that and you have been praying like let let it go please help me right you asked for the help and you're receiving help and now you've been prepared for a blessing where this hurt will not hurt you anymore it will not pain you anymore and you will be able to have that peace that calmness that light heartedness in your life that's what i'm getting here we have master jesus forgiveness you're on the path of light love and forgiveness father healing is possible at this time maybe a masculine energy healing it's it can be a father healing or maybe a person who is a woman who has that masculine energy you were not able to forgive finally you will be able to forgive so you can feel safe within yourself maybe because of those that person's thought you were not feeling safe within yourself right and finally you will be able to release all those emotions and feeling safe within yourself that's what i feel like the messages so let's see here 
I feel like you guys have, might have tried different methods to overcome this feeling. Nothing works, so at, light, at last you might have taken like, yeah, let me just believe in God, right? I'm just going to pray. Maybe one day you just cried to God, you just prayed. And I feel like you will be free. Something like that is what I'm getting here. So let's see. Or maybe you're trying, doing something that will also help you. Maybe you're going to therapy and all and you're finally releasing it. Um, yeah, let's see what else here. Group number three. It feels like a better mental health, not consumed by this person's thoughts, like how what they did to you, how they made you feel. You now starting a life where you have more peace, calmness, not always worried. So group number three, two of cups. Ah, again, you you connecting with your own heart. You were not able to connect with your own heart. I feel like that. For some of you, if you have prayed for marriage, that's very specific. But I feel like that's also, I have, I feel like, because I did talk about like uh, praying to God. And in my tradition, and there is like, if, uh, uh, if we are wanting to get married, there are, um, there is, uh, there are, uh, uh, yes, yeah, so it's called Varivar in my, <laughs> my, you know, mother tank. And we do that. And for marriage also it's there uh, but for yeah it's costly but yeah there, there are many temples uh, some temples are costly but some temples like there is like less money and you know after after they do the prayer and all they will give us uh, a lot of uh, uh, like piesum and all they will give us like um, what it's called sugary things like uh, uh, yeah, they will give us what it's called. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it feels like something that you wish for. It's coming. Yeah, and you're getting the rewards. So it feels like for some of you, it's like you might have prayed like after I get this, then only I'll do the prayers. For some of you, it's like I'll, I'll do the prayers because in marriage, mostly we will do it and then only it happens. So, so yeah, it's, it's different. But again, why I'm saying this, I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, you're going to ha have that sweet things because we get the sweet things. So yeah, <laughs> you're getting your wish, like that wish. For some of you, it's like emotionally, you want better mental health. For some of you, you want to forgive so you can feel yourself again. You want that lightheartedness. For some of you, this can be marriage and you're getting a good proposal and finally things are moving forward. That can also be the thing. Uh, so let's see. More. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. Yeah. Again, for some of you, look, again, you, you, it feels like those thoughts, no matter how hard you used to fight, it used to bother you somehow, somewhere. You tried really hard to get rid of those thoughts, those emotional feelings, like the feelings that, yeah, it's, it, it feels like, yeah, it feels like you might have been present in front of people, but at the back of your mind, you're thinking about all those things that happen and it fuels you. You keep it, you, 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 you hide those things from people. Yeah, it, it can, it, I really feel like someone in your life has done something to you, right? This is that only. That is the energy I'm getting. And maybe you're away from this person. They might have betrayed you, something like that. A person who might who might have betrayed you, right? Done you wrong, uh, done something behind your back, and maybe it's in a marriage, right? It's in a marriage, a masculine energy. Someone did something to you, and maybe you're f apart from that person. You you're trying so hard to not get that to in, into you. You want to start new life. You want to have that peace, but somehow somewhere this person keeps popping up, popping up, right? And finally, what is it? The blessing is like you will be able to let go of them completely. This person will not bother you. So you can start your fresh life, right? You can feel more happy. You can dedicate uh, yourself to a goal that you want to, uh, want to accomplish. You will not be consumed by all those things that happen to you, right? That's what I'm getting here. And again, that the, the, I feel like some of you will resonate with this, you know, offer, offers something offering and then you're getting the prasad. Yeah, it's called prasad. <laughs> um, yeah. So, something like that. It is there. You really fought really hard to not feel 
like maybe I felt like a lot of intrusive thoughts. You were like, I, I just want to slap that person. I want to insult that person. Um, maybe you always think like this person did it to me. Let them have that. Like all those thoughts, that was not good. That was negative, right? Yeah, you didn't want it. It was consuming you. I am getting that kind of vibe here. And finally, you will be like finding forgiveness. You will be healing up, and this thing will not bother you. And I feel like that's what it is. There is peace. There is clarity. You're like, yes, I, I, now I can just forgive them. I don't want to, I just don't want to, like because when we're thinking of them, we're giving energy to them. And you're like, I, I take my power back. You're taking your power back here. So, let's see. Wow, we have the turning point here, right? Again, the twist and the turns here. <laughs> Things will happen in a way that will be very twisting, right? Um, that's what I'm getting here. So there will be, yeah, like re return the start of a new cycle, right timing, regeneration, uh, steady improvements, inevitability. Okay, anyways, so yes, so you have been going through a lot of twists and turns in your life and that's over. Now there is this turning point, like this twist and turns where you, maybe, you know, you were in a good marriage, right? And something happened, someone cheated and that is a twist, like, now you cannot be in that relationship. Maybe you have planned something for yourself and now that, that will not happen, right? Now there is this new life that is starting and it has, to, it has been difficult for you and you were not able to uh, forgive. You were not able to start a new life, but finally you're returning to yourself. It feels like this Two of Cups is you returning to yourself. You were lost. You were lost because of certain people, because of certain betrayal, because of certain events that happened, right? And now finally you will be able to heal so you can return to yourself and start a new life. Right? That's what I'm getting. It feels like you're returning to harmony. You're feeling that harmony peace inside of you. Because you haven't been feeling it for a while. Something has been bothering you. Something that you couldn't forgive. Finally you've been trying so hard. But those thoughts keep popping up. That feelings keep popping up. Some, it's like a ghost feelings that comes out and then they, it, it makes you feel so bad that you, your day is bad and you cannot concentrate. Finally, you are, you are finding that lost part of yourself back. Finally, you will be happy. That's, only, that's what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's see. Um, for group number three, what is the message here? What is the message here? Serenity, yes, that's the thing. You've been prepared to, for serenity, for peace, for calmness, for balance, feeling that peace inside of you. And uh, I didn't show you the back of the deck of this oracle was keeping you still, being peaceful within yourself, not giving your energy to anyone else, feeling that calmness inside of you, not feeling those kinds of emotions, feeling that peace. That's, that's what you've been prepared for. So final message, your group number three. <clears throat> <clears throat> we have patience here. <laughs> yep. Again, we have focus as well. You have lost your focus also because of these emotions. You're not able to do your routines or something like that because this thing happened, because you're always thinking about this thing. Right. Be patient at this time because things are going to change. The peace, the serenity you want, that's coming back. The focus that you want is coming back. Your life is going to be back on track here. You're going to return to yourself and that will be the start of new cycle. You will be able to have that calmness, peacefulness. Yes. Things are changing for you guys. Okay. Again, 13 is the death card a number. So things are transforming here. So a little bit more patience, things are changing, okay? So yeah, that's all I have for group number three. Hope it made sense, hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.